Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what we're gonna be doing with the Dell Inspiron 145440 is we're going to be doing a, another upgrade, another set of upgrades. However, this time we're gonna be upgrading the SSD and upgrading Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro. I got the SSD. This is going to be a two terabyte to replace the um, 500 gigabyte SSD that came with this compute that computer and um and I got Windows 11 Pro that I'm going to be installing so I could be able to have more features for Windows 11 when I need to use this computer for certain things but I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid up and show you how to get to the how to get to the SSD or if you need to do a memory upgrade like I did in my last video. I'm gonna move, let me move this keyboard out the way for a sec. You got Phillips screws here, 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 and here, here. Kind of self-explanatory, but um, this cover will just lift right up. And once I get this cover opened, I'll be right back. All right, so. To get this SSD out, it's usually mounted like this, even though I got the new one already installed onto the bracket, but getting the old one out, it's pretty similar if you get it back in. You know how there's a screw right, like right here, where my finger is, but you're gonna take that screw and this little bracket lifts right up. And then just simply pull it out. I didn't do it, I'll put it all the way in. This is the old one right here. And you're gonna have, there's gonna be a little screw right here that's supposed to secure the little SSD in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully reassemble all this and get it all connected up. And I'll see you on the OS install. Since I got everything back together, and I got the Windows 11 flash drive inserted. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the Windows 11 install as a part of the bonus of the video. And we're gonna click. It's gonna um, install Windows 11. So we're just gonna accept the agreement. This is my first time doing a clean install of Windows 11. So let me see what's going on with this flash drive and let's see what's going on with the SSD that I'll be right back once I get everything figured out. All right. I had to went in the BIOS to take care of a little small issue with the uh, SSD not showing up. So I, when I had put the when I unhooked the battery, it kind of reset everything in the BIOS. So I had to go into the settings to see why it's not showing my SSD. So it's now showing the SSD with one little simple fix in the BIOS. And now we're making progress. So. Once I get to the Windows 11 desktop, I'll be right back. Once we get to the Windows 11 desktop. Several moments later, I got Windows 11 successfully installed on that new two terabyte SSD. And I'm gonna show you the two terabyte SSD if I can open up this PC real quick. And there you have it. We're now running Windows 11 Pro. Let's see if I can do the um, system properties from here. Even though I'm gonna have to edit this video because it's, I got multiple pieces, but by the time this video gets uploaded, 
I'll have it all out, take, out the way and, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching and I'll have an update coming for it at some point in the future.